Right guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, the crazy hairstyle is gone. Some of you liked it, some of you didn't. We've been for a fresh trim. It's Saturday. It's actually quite nice outside compared to the snow we had yesterday. So that's a positive. Today we're at home, we're back at Oakwell. It feels like a while since I've been at Oakwell as well. Obviously I missed the Exeter game when I was at, um, on holiday. But today we've got Leighton Orient. It's going to be a tough game. They're on good form. They're looking to push towards playoffs. We're in the playoffs. We need to get away from them. We still have a little bit of luck at top two. It's going to be unlikely. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Like goal, I'm going to go for 120. Ignore the dog in the background. 120 likes I'm going to ask for today. And also, shout out to Matchday Sponsor, channel sponsor. Link in the top of the description. Go check them out as always. We'll get to Oakwell. We've got some lads coming. We'll get their predictions on. We'll hope for a good three points. Get some form back up and running after that decent point against Bolton. So we'll get to Oakwell. And we'll hope for three points. Come on, you Reds. Right guys, it was sunny earlier, now it's starting to spit. We're outside for Leighton Orient at uh, home, should I say. These, they're in good form. The, you said they were top for table of this season? This uh, no, this calendar, calendar year, they haven't lost a game in 2024 yet, so it'll um, be interesting. I don't think we'll win. I've predicted a nil-nil draw. We haven't had one all season, so I think we're due one. So yeah, they are, they're in very good form this season. I feel like we'll get the win. Uh, we've got the same team as Bolton, Donovan Pines on the bench. We might get the same today, I'm not too sure. I'm going to go for 2-1 to Barnsley. How about you, Dino? 2-1. Uh, uh, Cole. And I've got jo Josh Earl up there, Edda. Josh Earl with an Edda. That's a pretty bold prediction. And Byron's back again today. You haven't seen the Reds lose yet, so are we going to keep up that nah, form? Today, I say 1-0 <coughs> Leighton because, like Connor said, they haven't lost. So, and our own form is shit. So we are pretty poor, <laughs> poor at home. We've got, so we've got for two wins, two losses. So we'll get inside and out for three points. Kick off minutes away, we're playing a red hot, late in Orient, but hopefully we can stop their 2024 form. Come on. Roberts, my keeper. Long throw from Barry Cutter. Cole hits an acrobatic shot, and it's a great save by their keeper. Could have been one at both ends in the first five. Throw, long throw from Barry again, they're so dangerous, they falls to the edge of the box and we just put it wide, that could have been two in two minutes, so close. So poor, we've had them two chances, we've missed them two chances. Ball in behind, Williams misses it, he beats one man, squares it to the middle of the box and he puts it in bottom corner. It's gone from we started so well to such a sloppy goal to concede off a mini counter attack. We're no light in Orient and we're chasing already after 10 minutes. It's another chance of a breakaway and another chance that have been palmed wide. We need to get one soon. We're having them, but we need to put one in net. Come on. The chances are coming, we just can't convert them. No way. It's just not happening, he just don't want to go in there. We've still got it on. We've got another call. He just don't want to go in there. Wow. See you the defensive, that's my striker. No one there again, another waste of an attack. Oh. 
power attack now. Well in uh, Surprise ref didn't give a penalty. He's been that bad all game. Him at linesman. Don't have a clue what they're doing. He's quality here. Earl, you are quality. Another unbelievable save by their keeper. Their keeper was well and truly kept them in this game because they've been hit and miss. We've been so good. We've had some great chances and their keeper's kept them in game. It's another good save, but looks like it's going to be wonderful at half time unless we get something from this corner. Uh, there you go, half time, 1 0. Into second half, no changes. We need an early goal. We need to get some out of this game because we've had a lot of chances at the first half, so hopefully. And all other results are going our way at the moment. Like the Bolton and Peterborough losing, Derby Pompey drawing, so we need to turn this around. Well, we're into the 70th minute, we've had a lot of ball, not a lot of possession. Uh, a lot of ball, sorry, a lot of possession. Not a lot of chances. Uh, like, you know, you've got the one goal, they're just sitting deep, defending well. Probably going around 1 0, but we're praying for a chance. Cosgrove's on, O'Keefe's on, but it's going to be a tough ask to get out because we're struggling to make the chances count. Ball oh, he don't want to go in. He really doesn't want to go in. The clock's ticking. The chances keep coming, but no goals are coming at the moment. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, okay. No way. Another one. Another one that that's close to going in bottom corner. I love to see our stats after this game. We've had some great chances, and it's another one that's gone wide by that much. 18 minutes left. Come on. Go on, Elkies, drive. Come on, Elkies. Deserve a goal. I missed it. You're out of nowhere. It was a long ball from fullback. Phillips has gone in behind. Keeper's coming out of it. Phillips has flicked it. And he's gone over Keeper. He's in back at net. And we've got a goal finally. Once again, I missed it. It came out of nowhere. That is a great header from Phillips. Come on. What's he done? I think he sent Connell off, and I don't know why. I'm so confused. Connell, Connell's walking down the tunnel. I didn't even see what happened. Everyone seems to be so confused and so annoyed. And Connell's about to walk down the tunnel. I'm, I'm so confused right now. There's two minutes left. We've scored. Our sentiment's been sent off. and No one's... We've heard no explanation. I'm so confused. I guess I'll find out after the game, but that is bizarre. This rest been questionable all game, and that just tops it off. This ref is just gave one of our players a yellow card for making a pure and perfect slide tackle. One of the most confusing and one of the worst referees I've ever witnessed with my own eyes. Some of his decisions don't even make sense to 12,000 people. Says it all. So confusing. I do not understand why. Finally, he's given a right decision. Absolute embarrassment. Absolute embarrassment. Referees are horrific as they are, and you do not help the name. Joke, man. Absolute joke. This will be some way to win it with what I've seen. Look 
What a little wet wipe. Get a life, you little rat. I hope you get home and your wife's getting shagged by postman. Absolute joke, man. Absolute joke. Anyway, the rest made the game about him. We'll let's ignore it. We've got a money. Come on. Come on! One of the most bizarre referees, one of the most bizarre endings to a game I've ever seen. But it looks like we've gone and won it if we can hold out with 10 men. Wow! And he hadn't even get that as a free kick. What a joke, but crazy game. I'm sorry for getting passionate and maybe some of the words I've said, but this has been one crazy game. The rest tries to screw us over, but Phillips, two great goals and a free massive point. Third place to let you know that they are a good team, but come on! Na 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 na! Na 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 na! Bosley. I hope you enjoyed, that was crazy. I'll see you on Tuesday with Shrewsbury, come on! Come on, Philip, you sexy man, get in. <laughs>